Hey everyone, it's Carrie Walker, residential realtor in Lafayette, Louisiana. Um, it has been a little bit since I came on and did a video, but um, I just got back from a really fun week of travel to Walt Disney World. Um, if you know me well, you know that is my favorite place to go on vacation, um, whether it's with my family or just with my daughter or even by myself. Um, I'm really down for whatever. Sometimes I'll go meet some friends there. Um, this trip in particular, we stayed uh, quite longer than usual. We actually stayed for seven days. Just kind of worked out that way around our flight schedule. Um, I picked up some pretty good pricing uh, through Frontier. I was able to fly out of the Lafayette Regional Airport here, and um, which is great because it's super easy for us to get from our house to the airport versus having to drive to New Orleans, park a car, and all that, which we'll do. It just depends on um, what the price is. But Frontier was running a special when I booked my flights. We are Den Deals members, and I was able to take advantage of the Kids Fly Free program. And so we actually only paid for two round trip tickets instead of three. So that was really fun. And um, and yeah, I'm, I don't mind flying Frontier. We did have a little slight delay when we left due to. Um, I think there was some weather in um, the city where our plane was coming from, but you know what? I'd rather it arrive safely and be delayed than to be canceled altogether. So um, we stayed at three different properties while we were in Disney World this time. Um, we And I would like to talk a little bit about them just because I think one of the reasons why I'm so fascinated um, or love hotels and tours and whatnot. My first major in college actually was hospitality um, tourism management when I was studying at UNO and uh, hotel operations was probably one of my favorite classes. I just kind of like all that like ins and outs of how the industry works and whatnot. But um, I quickly realized I actually like to stay in hotels more than I probably would like working at them. So um, yeah, but um, I'm often posting on my Instagram when we travel like little room tours of uh, hotels and whatnot. So um, yeah, at Disney this time, we stayed in the Animal Kingdom Lodge at Kadani Village in a deluxe studio uh, for one night. Then we stayed four nights at uh, Boardwalk Villas, uh, which is attached to the Boardwalk Inn um, in a deluxe studio. And then we stayed two nights off property at the Hilton Bonnet Creek Resort. Um, and yeah, we had a different experience at all three. So I'm gonna kind of run down some of the things that we liked or didn't like. And um, if you're out there trying to plan your travel, um, I'll even tell you at the end how maybe you can find some good deals on properties uh, like this to vacation at. Um, so I'm gonna be looking at some notes a little bit here. So Kadani Village is uh, at Animal Kingdom Lodge in Disney. There are two properties. There's Jumbo House and there's Kadani Village. Kadani is a little bit farther on the side. Um, it does kind of make a little semicircle um, around the savannah so you can see a lot of the animals. Um, we did not stay in the Savannah View room. Um, to me, I just don't feel like the cost is worth it for me to, I'm not going to sit in my room long enough to like, sit on the terrace and watch the animals um, and while I drink my coffee. There's plenty of great viewing options within the hallways. Like when we were walking to and from the elevator and to the dining areas and whatnot, you can easily like see the animals outside the window. Like we saw giraffes, zebras, um, some fun birds like that. And then there's viewing platforms all throughout the resort. So if you wanna save a little bit of money, I don't think it's worth the upgrade for the Savannah view in my opinion, uh, but some people, that's what they love. They love the animals and they want that view. Um, the pool at, at Kidani Village is really fun. I really like it. It's the Samawati Springs pool. It has a fun water slide. They're kind of always playing kind of like jungle tribal vibe type music. It's chill enough to kind of like relax by the pool as an adult, but fun enough to get you in, in the vibe. Um, there's a little pool bar down there, it has some really uh, fun frozen drinks. I do not recommend the pina colada, it's way too sweet. Um, but they had a frosé, which was, we had two of them. Uh, so we'll just say they were good. But yeah, so that's a really fun pool. If you have smaller kids, there's a cute little splash pad and it's, it's pretty shaded over there, which is nice. So if you're trying to get out of the sun, um, that might be a good pool option for you like especially with little ones that, like just want to play and you don't want to have to worry about like the big water 
Um, and there's a smaller water slide in that pool too, which I thought was kind of nice for smaller kids. Um, and lifeguards galore. You do not have to worry at Disney. There are lifeguards everywhere and they do their job well. Um, by the pool too, it was really kind of nice because we were switching resorts. Uh, we checked out of our room at 11 and then went to the pool and our new resort wasn't ready yet. But next to the pool, there's a really great um, like bathhouse, like shower area complete with towels and everything. So when we finished, we were able to kind of like freshen up and get ready and then go do some park touring before our room was ready. And Disney moved our bags for us. If you do a resort change on property, um, you can pack up your bags, take them to Bell Services, and they'll get them moved over to your new property. Don't know if you knew that. Um, so the rooms there, um, for a deluxe studio at Kidani Village, it sleeps four. There's a queen bed and then a pull-out sofa, um, which also sleeps two. I, I didn't hate the room, but I definitely like a lot of the studios at other properties better. I felt like there's a, it's really brown and dark in there. When you enter, it kind of reminds me of like an older, like Hampton Inn kind of vibe, like just like it's real brown. And I know it's safari and it's wood and all that, but um, the bathroom is kind of a waste of space, just the way that the tub shower and then the toilet is in its separate little room but it's almost like too big to just be the toilet, but too small to be anything else. So that was a little off for me. And all the studios have a little kitchenette in there. So you get a larger mini fridge, um, like a bar sink, and then you get a um, coffee pot and like glasses and, and a few dishes and whatnot. So, you know, I ran down in the morning to go get some breakfast and we kind of, you know, made a little, sharing platter out of that but um that would be another thing that i didn't really care for in kadani village is there's not really the sana which is a restaurant um known for its like amazing bread service it's so delicious the naan breads with all the dipping sauces but for a breakfast standpoint like there's not a lot of like quick service options in there um it was okay but i i feel like jumbo house has some more options over there with the mara which more of the, like your cafeteria kind of food court kind of style you just have some more options um that would be my only other thing that i didn't really care for but other than that um the service was excellent um the staff was friendly and you know, it, everything i expect when i stay at a disney resort so then we moved on over to the boardwalk villas and i love boardwalk villas it's one of my favorite properties partly because i like the theme it's kind of that old school like new york or eastern seashore like boardwalk feel um it has has this little sea salty smell in the lobby when you walk in it's not too strong and they're just playing really fun like festive music in there and everything's kind of that seafoam green and blues and just soft colors and it feels happy it looks out at the water uh where the friendships the boats transport between epcot and uh, Hollywood Studios. So that's great about um, Boardwalk is that you have the boat access right there. And there's also a walking path. If you prefer to walk, if you want to walk even more than you already do in Disney World, you can most definitely walk to the back entrance of Epcot at the World Showcase, or you can actually take the walking path to Hollywood Studios if you just want to bypass the 20 minute boat ride altogether. Um, Boardwalk Villas sleep five. So in those rooms, in those studios, uh, you get a queen bed, a pull-out sofa that sleeps too, and then there's a twin Murphy bed option that folds out of the wall. I love that Murphy bed. It's just three of us, so it's great for my husband and I to have the queen, and then my daughter, uh, Stella, gets the twin Murphy bed, and it's easier to make it up in the morning than I find a pull-out couch. You just kind of tuck in everything, and you fold it back in the wall, and then it becomes a table again, and then um, my husband was able to set up like his laptop and continue working while we're on our trip. Um, and yeah, it was, it was good. The room's a nice size. Uh, I feel like the kitchenette, just the layout of the bathroom, you have an open vanity in there. So I guess the disadvantage would be if you're like me and you go out to the parks after with other people in your party and my husband came home and went to bed a little bit earlier when I come back and I need to you know, take a shower and brush my teeth. Like I have to turn on a light at the vanity, which bothered him a little bit, but I wasn't not going to shower. Um, 
So yeah, um, we stayed on a, a, the fourth floor. I do, pr I have stayed there before on a lower floor. I like the lower floors better, especially they have um, in the villa side, there's complimentary um, laundry services. So the kind of little laundromat area is on the first floor and I was kind of like opposite direction of it. So I had to like bring my stuff down. And it's just so hot right now. Like having laundry services is amazing. If you stay in a one bedroom or above in any of the villas, you get uh, a, in room washer and dryer, like a stackable, but um, the studios don't have that, but you get access for free. So the things that I don't like about Boardwalk, um, I don't like the quick service options here either. You have to go outside. So if it is raining, there's not really anything inside the Boardwalk Resort that you can go to. Um, I always have an umbrella or poncho, so it's fine, but you know, that's kind of something. And then Boardwalk Bakery is your quick service on that side. They do not have Mickey waffles. You have to trek around to the beach club marketplace if you want that on the other side of the lake. But um, they do have really good breakfast sandwiches. In fact, my mom said she wished she would have just gotten the breakfast sandwich um, all the days she got breakfast instead of walking over to the beach club. But I get to have my Mickey waffles. I did enjoy the breakfast sandwiches as well. Um, the pool at Boardwalk is, oh wait, what else did I not like? Um, I, I, that's about it. I like everything else at Boardwalk. Um, we had little glitchy things on the bus transportation to Magic Kingdom, but I don't think that that had anything to do with Boardwalk. I think it was just a time of day. Um, the pool at Boardwalk. So some people are terrified of the clown slide. It's like a Coney Island coaster, a wooden coaster. And the slide spits you out of the clown's mouth, which is slightly creepy, but I just love a water slide. Like to me, there's nothing that makes me feel, even riding a roller coaster doesn't make me feel a kid at heart, but going down a water slide does. And to be laying out there in the heat and being like, you know what, I'm gonna go down the water slide. Like that just, it, it just brings me joy. So go down it a couple times and you will forget all about the clown. Uh, and the bar at that, at the, um, it, it's a little carousel, it's called Leaping Horse Libations. Um, they have some really good frozen drinks. They can do other cocktails. They have very good margarita. Um, and they have a quick service menu that counts for your dining plan. If you are on it, they have some very good, like unexpected pool food. Um, they changed up their menu recently. They said they had some bao buns with like a chicken and like a slaw and this sauce and a little cucumber salad. That was so good. Like it was amazing. And pro tip, if you are on the dining plan, your quick service comes with a beverage adults. It can be an alcoholic beverage. Also, if you were ordering your kid a meal and I don't know if they always let you do this, I have squeaked this by before, but he like flat out told us to do it. Um, we ordered three lunches for two adults, but we ended up with three margaritas. And they let us use Stella's drink credit for a margarita. So anyway, um, yeah, real delicious. Like I would go back to Boardwalk Pool, like just eat lunch, like it was so good. Um, and then, yeah, um, the, my other tip, if you're gonna stay in a villa, so if you're going to stay, like even actually maybe even some of the moderate resorts or um, even the values, I find with all the remodels, a lot of them, they have mini fridges. Like I know that Pop Century has mini fridges. Um, I believe when we stayed at Coronado before it had some as well, but you can get like an Instacart or shipped or even the Amazon grocery service like delivered to the hotels, the resorts, and they'll hold your groceries at Bell Services for you. So if you had something cold, like this time I got milk for cereal and um, half and half for coffee, and I always get like cheese and charcuterie and some fruit, um, they'll keep it cold for you. And then the, our bags were being held because they were transferred. So they just brought everything to my room. They brought my two cases of water. They brought all my groceries. And there are people that come and like literally get all their groceries and cook all week long and they'll bring it all to the room. So even if you're gonna stay in like a value resort, you wanna save a little bit, I think that you could probably get by with getting a couple of, you know, obviously you can get some shelf stable items, but if you're gonna have a mini fridge in your room, you could get a few things delivered and then keep it in there. And I highly recommend getting some water delivered. Um, you can bring water in all day long to the parks. Don't think that you can't. 
So yeah, that's one of my tips. Now, when we moved off property, we went over to the Hilton Bonnet Creek Resort. I have stayed at the Hilton properties over at Disney Springs before, um, and I did not think that I ever wanted to stay at the Bonnet Creek Resort because it is not in like walking distance. Like for me, in my mind, when I've stayed at Disney Springs, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to walk across the Skywalk and I'm going to take the Disney buses to where I want to go. They do not run to the parks from, um, from Disney Springs. So you have to ride to a resort. However, Hilton, the Disney Springs area um, resorts have like a contracted bus service. It's not the Disney buses and it's a total pain. Like it stops at like six resorts and like you don't really know what order you're in and there's a lot of people and I didn't care for it. Bonnet Creek has its own contracted bus service as well that takes you to the parks and it is strictly it's it's only goes to the Bonnet Creek Hilton and the Waldorf Astoria that's next door because Hilton owns Waldorf. So they partner together and the hotels are connected. Um, so that was kind of nice because I thought, Oh, we're going to have to take like a ton of Ubers because of terrible transportation. Nice though. They give you a little schedule. So you know, when the bus is coming, you do have to stop at all the parks, but they don't wait around very long. You're either there when they pick up or you're not. So they come and they go pretty quick. Um, we stayed there on Hilton Honors Points because Michael travels a lot for work. We rack those up. So that's kind of an option for us if we ever want to like extend a trip by a day or something like that. Like we might just cash in a few points, but I would stay there if I had to pay. Um, it was a, it was a really good property for what the prices run online. Their rack rate was pretty good, but they also run some specials. So I think that if you're looking for something that you still want like that resort feel, you don't want to sleep in a cartoon. Like it's a good option um, for somebody who wants that. Maybe you also want to be connected to like a spa or, you know, maybe you also have Hilton points. Like I'd say stay there in a heartbeat. Um, they have a really good pool there too. Um, yeah, they have a lazy river and it goes around um, the whole pool area. And then there is a water slide there. It's not quite as fun, Stella said, as um, the Disney uh, pools were, but um, I, I didn't go down that one. It was, the weather was kind of sketchy, so I was like, no, nah, I'm good. Um, they have, my one beef with this resort would be a lot of the hotels in Orlando um, pipe in artificial scents. It's very strong at the Hilton Bonnet Creek. Like it's almost like the same scent that you smell in um, Frozen. No, um, Soren. That's more intense on um, Flight of Passage, but it's even stronger in this Hilton. I don't know. Maybe I had just been like my nose was on overload and I just couldn't take any more scents for the day, so I was done. Um, and then yeah, I, I, that's that's it. Like you. Yeah, it's real simple. I mean, we still had some snack things left over from our villa stay, so I just brought all that over and like, you know, we didn't really lunch. We just went to eat dinner and that was it. Um, I would say any of those properties that I mentioned would be good options. You really can find great deals if you're if you're thinking like how do you afford to stay in the villas and um, gosh, those deluxe resorts are so expensive. You can get online. There are um, sites out there where you can rent um, Disney Vacation Club points, so DVC for the lingo. Um, and you can probably spend the same amount of money renting somebody else's points that you would spend if you stayed at like a moderate resort. Um, probably going to be more than you would if you stayed at one of the values. But I can tell you this if you've ever been to Disney before or if you're afraid to go, and you don't like because you're afraid you're gonna be in this like cattle car kind of experience. Staying it if if you can swing it and stay at a nicer resort, it just kind of changes the tone and the vibe. Don't get me wrong, the values can be fun. Like people are happy to be there. They're in Disney. The bus lines can be a little bit longer, and you know it can be a little overwhelming. But maybe you take an Uber. Maybe that's gonna be the ticket for you. Um, Anyway, that's just been my experience with this trip and um, comment below if you want me to talk about anything else specific. I just, this was fresh on my brain. I always like make my notes after a trip, what I liked, what I didn't like so that when I'm booking something again, I'll remember. Um, and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want more travel stuff, you let me know.
Bye guys.